Hey crafters, it's me, John Evers with Koala Tea Crafts. And so if you are new to my video, this is number three of three on a mixed media project I've working, I've been working on with these fairies in the door. Uh, all comes as one piece. You can get it at koalitycrafts.com. Let us know to order you one. I think there might be one or two left. So if you want to snag one for next sale, which is this coming Saturday, let me know. I'll make you a bin. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it until more people start signing on because I think people will may have forgotten that I was going to be doing this live. You can see that I use some of the Dress My Crafts um, Impress... No, not Impress Me. What's it called? Um, Transfer Me, which is this shiny stuff back here. And then I varnished it to make sure that it was permanent. I went over the top of it with some gilding flakes, which is where you can see the shiny gold. Um, partly because it looks cool, partly because I found out when using the transfer me's that if you touch it with a piece of tape, it will rip it right off. So make sure you're varnishing those. These are wood. I just painted them black. Um, I believe they're water reactive ink. So I'm going to try to make them stand out more because right now they just seem kind of hidden. And then I started adding some of the foliage, but I need to add more. And what that's what I have in this dish right here. Some more stuff that I want to add. Not all of it, but you know, whatever looks good. I uh, didn't have time to make smaller flowers. I wanted to make some teeny tiny flowers. So if we've got time, I may add in a few of those. I'm not sure. Um, so two things hinging here. Oh, I also have these other things, just so you know. I've got rub-ons that are going to go on, so they're metallic. I'm hoping that would bring out the uh, fairies. And I also have some Flower Soft, if you've never seen Flower Soft, and also some Flocking. Flocking is basically like torn up velvet. Um, that's what I can liken it to. And the Flower Soft is like a plastic, kind of a plastic, um, just really cool texturized stuff that you can glue on. I've got my glue gun right here because I think that's just the best for when you're adding stuff. You don't have to wait for the glue to dry. So if you want to move it around, you can with the with the glue gun. If you're using wet glue, well then you have a problem because it might start falling off. You'll notice that I did some texture paste and then I put the stencil back down and ran some glitter on top of it. I think it was diamond, diamond glitter glitter glue. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's see. Let me go over here. I need to open this wider because I think I might, I should have a chat somewhere. Maybe on this side. There we go. I need to move this over. It's like all a learning curve every time I start over again. Okay. Super. So I'm just going to get started on this. Um, two things hinging on this video, which I started to say. And sorry, I trailed off. Coda, um, if you're new here, <laughs> Coda is my special needs Emmy dog. He just finished eating. He has to sit there for a half an hour and then I have to let him out. So when that alarm goes off, if I'm not done, I'm going to have to do that. I apologize, but I feed him four times a day. And with everything that I have to schedule in my day, it always bumps into something. That's just my life right now. Um, also... My husband, I had to take him to the emergency room for a funny feeling he was having in his chest. He's completely fine. He's sitting in the waiting room um, wondering, wishing he had a warmer jacket and um, something to eat. So he's okay. <laughs> there and some tests haven't found anything so far. I might also add some uh, metallic, hi Pet Haven, metallic um, marks. If you see stuff on here, it's probably glue boogers. Uh, to the little hinges and stuff. Although, I'll be honest, I forgot to dig out that pen. Let me see if I can find it right quick right now. Okay, this one might work. Oh, that's clear. Okay, this one is supposed to be silver. We'll see if we can get that a little bit of silver on there. Um, it's so tiny, I don't want to use the rub and buff because that probably wouldn't work. So, let's go ahead... I wish, I wonder if you can see all the different colors in this door. Do you see the purples and the reds that are coming out? That was just me mixing all kinds of inks and stuff on there. Just having a good old time. I put white out on top of the mushroom. 
And this one I just inked up and it just looks so fabulous like that. I left it. It's so pretty. So the first thing I want to do is, before I get all the hangy down stuff, I'm going to see if I can take a little bit of this one. And I think it's just a creamy metallic kind of a white and see if I can't pop out those um, fairies a little bit more so you can see them. You don't have to use your fingers with this stuff. You can use whatever you want. I just like the control I get when I use the just my um, pointer finger and I think this is working I she's glued down with some glue so if, you know I push too hard and they fall off no big deal I got my glue gun ready to roll she's popping off there a little bit more nicely I'm gonna do that with the other one especially around the ring wings yeah that looks nice that's cool. I kind of wanted it just on the edges, but it's hard to do just the edges with your finger. And I don't want to take this this to take too long because i got to run some stuff up to my husband. I don't know if they're going to keep him or what in the heck they're waiting on, but he's been there for, oh gosh, at least a couple of hours already. How's it going, Pet Haven? I wish I could call you by name, but I don't recognize that name. There's a lot of people that watch our channel and are in and out. And I'll tell you what, the difference between their Facebook name and their PayPal name and their YouTube name and all that, their different aliases, it's really hard for me to remember them all. So don't feel offended if I don't, if I'm like, I'm not sure who you are. And now I'm just going to start adding on some of the leaves. Let's go ahead and start making this into a real fairy land. I'm almost out of glue here, it looks like, so I'm going to have to... I think I have glue gun, um, I'm sure I do. I have some more glue gun things around here. Glue gun rolls, glue gun, what you call them. Well, glue gun sticks. Maybe I moved them because they've been sitting out here so long and I didn't use them. That happens a lot. Does that happen to you? Where you have something out forever and then you're finally like, okay, you're not going to use it. So you put it away and then you're like, darn it. Oh, there, I moved them. Found them though. <laughs> they were right above me. Okay, let's see if we can get this rolling. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We'll just let that drip drop there a minute. I'm going to pull out some more of these. Don't want to put all of the same kind. And sometimes when, when you drag your fingernail, that um, makes them kind of, you know, droop over, bend them in half so they look a little bit more realistic. So they're not just flat paper. And I, my goal is not to cover up the fairies. Obviously, that's like one of the things you don't want to do. But I do want to kind of camouflage sort of their little door because they would never just leave that out in the open, right? They would never just want anybody to stumble upon their stuff. And then um, you'll see that I've got some of this like just going over the top. Just so it doesn't just abruptly stop on the other side. That's all that's for. Looks a little bit more natural. And then glue boogers, of course, when you use this type of stuff. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I've got some more of these. See, so I sprayed these with a fun little gold tint right over the green, which makes it look really fun. And I'm just going, you know, hairy and airy wherever I think this will look cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I haven't been live besides our, um, our group Zooms every Friday. I would love to see more people at that. It's super fun. Um, not going to lie, it's probably more for... Um, some nights it's more for the adult population. I had a few cocktails on the last one. So I'm going to add in just a couple of these light green ones. Not a lot because this is more like a, to me, like an enchanted night kind of thing. And I don't want anything, a lot of stuff, too bright. I 
And I'm feeling a little guilty because my husband's freezing <laughs> over at the... Just a little touch of green here um, at the emergency room. So he's sitting. He said he's sitting in some kind of a um, generic waiting room. I don't know. He was in a room, so it leads me to believe that he's. they probably didn't find anything to worry about. So they're not being real careful to keep him in a regular room. So that that makes me able to just be calm and do my thing. I'm not a panicker anyway. So that helps me. I don't I don't freak out until I have a reason to. Okay. So there I've got a couple of darker ones with a little bit of, you know, just boogers. <laughs> you can actually put a heat gun over the top of it when you're done and just kind of erase. Um, those things. I maybe want to do a little bit on the top of them so that it looks like they're underneath, but I'm not sure about that because first I want to do um, the landscaping here and that's where this stuff comes in. I think this green and red one's going to look really fantastic, but I also have a little brown here, a little tan. So in case, you know, we hit a little sand kind of instead of all flowers, I know I'm going to make a mess here. I better get a sheet. I better get a sheet of paper. That way I can put it back in the thing. It's like 80 degrees outside here, but I will never probably worry about AC in this basement, which is actually pretty fantastic. There, I kind of did the whole ground part here. I'm gonna go ahead and press those in and a hard shake off, even though I knock stuff off. <laughs> I want to make sure that it stays. So that's what I have right now. It's very, very light. I'm thinking that did not work as well as I'd hoped it would. So let me, first let me pick up my glue gun and put it properly in the holder. I want to put the sandy stuff back in here. Put the cap on because if you don't you're gonna end up with it everywhere where did this little guy fall off of I don't know put a little glue on him and put him back on I'll just tuck him under there I don't remember where he was that's close enough it's a fantasy world so nobody will bug me if it's not in a certain spot there we've got that I'm gonna go ahead and do this green green and red over the top of that because that doesn't look right to me that's not at all what I was hoping to get out of this and a little bit on the other side of that mushroom there it goes Woo! all right This time, I don't think I'm going to smash it in. I think I'm just going to put this on here. And just let it kind of sit. Now I'm going to push it in a little mm -hmm. bit. You do have to smack it off a little bit, because otherwise, every time you look at your project, you're going to have... More and more of it falling off on you, you know? Oh my gosh, that looks way better. What do you think of that? Come on, camera. So now some of that um, sand is showing through where that moss and stuff is. So on here, it doesn't look so Christmassy. It literally looks like moss, which is super stinking cool. I'm going to run some more down the rest of this. I just really love the look of that, and it seems to be pulling all the colors in. So let's do this side. And then we're going to scoot right on over to this side. So 
some I did a little bit thicker and some I did a little bit thinner just so it wasn't like one whole long beaded whatever. Now I need to hit both sides of the paper for what falls off. Just a light tap. Let's make sure we got some of that stuck there. Awesome. Oh, that looks so cool. Isn't that changing the way this whole thing looks? Hi, Elizabeth. That looks really cool. Oh my gosh, that is like making it pop so much, just having that on the bottom. Ooh, how long we've been live here? I told him I wouldn't go over an hour. We've only been live 15 minutes, okay. I'll shoot for another half an hour, that way I can let the dog out and everything and we will be done. I don't have a lot to add to this, really. It was just putting on these extra touches and the leaves. So let's do go ahead and, I really like this one. So this was a, um, like a tea dyed, um, I th I'm pretty sure this was the um, tissue paper. Tissue paper Mod Podge tea dye something. Anyway, it turned out really, really cool. And I think I covered up a bunch of it. So I want to bring out a couple more of those because that's a nice tannish, dark, woodsy kind of feel to it. That way I can put a little bit by these guys here and it won't be so overwhelming. Put it right underneath her so she's still underneath the brush. And then maybe one on either side. So we've got a little bit on each part, each section. So let's bring this guy up. I don't want them all to sit flat so I'm just giving a little bend to some of these. And I really think we should have one kind of by the door. We've got a bunch right here and on that side. And I'm gonna un I'm gonna sneak that little torn edge underneath. So we just have a little bit there, but it's not covering everything up. This needs a little help going over the edge here. Don't burn yourself. Hi, everybody. You'll have to go back and watch the beginning because I'm nearly to the end. Um, I'm glad you guys made it. I started at 5. Thank you. It is turning out pretty cool. This is all like big, big, big leaves. Big, big leaves here. Big leaves there. I feel like why don't we toss in a little, um, something like this. Oh, that would look so cool there. Let's see if I can get it to go on without. There we go. Oh, that's really cool. Um, glue buggers. Okay, I think I have another one of them. Let's put that. I wonder if I could just canopy her with that. Could I get under her enough to canopy it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're going to do that. So I need to make sure that I get underneath here to hide the glue. But also underneath her... Go leaf, I think the glue's drying way too fast. Okay, I got the canopy, but there's a little mess there, so I'm gonna cover it up with another little piece of leaf. Just a teeny tiny one. I'll show you in just a second. Right here. I tried to canopy it up, and it, all the glue got stuck right there. So that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and just cover it up with this shiny little leaf. And that should be good. But that way less of the glue shows. You don't want all the glue showing. That looks even better. Look at that. Now we've got a little bit of all this, these fronds like coming in and covering up from the side. Hi Robin. Hi Diane. 
Diane Gaines, hi. Yeah, the moss really turned out. I don't know if I want to go any higher with that. I think that's probably plenty high with the moss, yeah? I have all these other leaves that I wanted to put on, but I'm thinking I don't know that I really want to include them. Oh, you know what, though? Okay, so a lot of my leaves are really big and flat. Look when I put this over the top. What a difference that makes in the whole look of it. Yep, that's totally going on there. I changed my mind. Because there's not a ton of texture here. So we're going to go ahead and put that one on there. That's so cool. Let's try to see if we can find one that's, you know, on that little darker side. Some of them didn't, um, all their little things didn't empty out. I'll show you what I mean. If I can get one. Like some of them didn't cut all the way through because of the way I placed it on my cutter. And that was just user error. Uh, but some of them did. And so those are the ones I'm trying to use. That's not my favorite. I'd rather have this one. Let's see if I can get more popped out of it. Oh man, I hate to run all the way back to the hospital just to bring him a just to bring him a jacket and a I don't know what he wants. I think he wants something to eat, but what if they keep him overnight? They might not they might prefer he didn't put a bunch of food in his stomach. Alexa shut down. So that's my um, warning that I need to let Coda out. So let's go ahead and finish this up because we're really, we're really at that point. Ooh, don't burn yourself. Oh, that learned that landed in a really good spot. So let's just look this over real quick. I'll try to take pictures, but honestly, pictures don't do it justice. Maybe this doesn't either. I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? Before we go, though, let me see if I can um, let me see what's going to happen with the silver. Is this silver or is this black? It's supposed to be silver. Maybe it's because I'm on blue. Let me get something white. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Was I squeezing too hard? He cats. Okay, let's just try it. I'm just going to do it a little bit. Because if it's really bad, I don't want us to stick out like a sore thumb. Well... I did one, so I have to do the other one, but just give me a second and I'll, I'll show you. It didn't turn out like silver at all. And I don't even know if it's going to soak into the wood or what. It looks funny. Okay. See, they're wet. But they're definitely not silver. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. Maybe before I take pictures, I'll search for something around my room that's a lot more silver than that and see if I can't just... And maybe we don't want them sticking out silver, you know? It's supposed to be kind of their little private world. But... All right, so let me just first off shut my glue gun off. And thank you guys for sticking with me through this three-part series on the Mixed Media Fairy. I'm going to try to do a few more Mixed Media things here and there for you guys. I enjoy it. I just don't take the time to do it. And um, give me a thumbs up and a like if you enjoy this type. And let me know in the comments below if you think that doing a Mixed Media new mixed media series would be something that you'd be interested in because I'm looking at dropping the one in 10 once I reach 200. Okay. And I'm at like a hundred and I don't even know, 83, 87. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. I'm going to end those at 200 though. 
And that way I can move in a new fun series, something that um, inspires me as well as you guys. And I'm looking forward to that. So I'm just kind of cleaning up while I'm yakking. I got a lot of stuff to clean up, but I got to take some stuff to Chuck. He's fine. He's at the hospital because he has that funny feeling in his chest again, which he had before, excuse me, in um, Madison. They didn't take him seriously. And then the last time he went in, he actually had a heart attack right there on the table. Go figure. So he didn't feel like he should wait. So we just took him in. I'm, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> so hot. Um, so I'm going to go and take him some stuff, whatever it is he wants. He's just sitting in, he's just sitting in the waiting room. Um, nothing major is happening to him. And if it does, he's in the, he's at the emergency room so they can take care of him. Um, I'm not worried. I'll let you know if anything happens to be worried about, but until then it's just, he's just playing on the safe side. Thank you guys so, so much. I will see you next video. Um, today is Monday. Monday me time. That's right. So Wednesday will be the next, um, duh, Jen, spit it out. M the, oh, don't forget before we get to, um, so Wednesday is the next one in 10, but this weekend is a sale weekend. So it'll be on Saturday, the 22nd and, um, Penny's still out of town. So, um, and her hubby's in the hospital. So I may have to go pick him up. It's it's been an interesting week. Um so I really hope that that goes smoothly. It'll be me and um Wanda running it together. Um I I don't know if Penny will be able to jump on or not. It's kind of hard when you're with your mom, you know, you just want to be with your mom and get things done. So until then, if you have any questions, leave them below. Catch me on Facebook. That's a really good place to catch me actually. And I cannot wait to see